How about we go back to June 1994? How about June 12th, 1994, 10 uh -huh. o'clock at night, 875 uh, South Bundy. Uh, O.J. Simpson drives up, gets out from the alley, and kills Nicole Brown Simpson and her friend Ron Goldman. Uh, that started maybe the biggest trial uh, in modern day history, and uh, it is now going to be chronicled on uh, FX, uh, the people versus O.J. Simpson. There is somebody who is pissed about this, and it is a central person in this case, and that would be one Al Cowlings, O.J. Simpson's best friend, the man who drove that white Bronco on the slow speed chase on June Which 17th. Everybody saw. And everybody knows about it. He is angry because he feels like he is going to be skewered by this by the show. Well, and I, I think, Harvey, he has a point in some sense for two reasons. Number one, uh, I am told that FX has not allowed anyone to see. Usually there's screenings and some people are able to see parts of the show so they can make judgments on whether or not they think it's accurate. See, I know some people who have seen it, so I think they're being selective. Well, and you may be right, because Al Cowlings has not been able to. He's asked. Uh, the second reason that well, it's let, interesting. Let, let me stop you in the first, because here's why Al Cowlings is upset. Um, right at the time of the murders, um, there is a woman, her name is Jennifer Peace. She was a she porn was a, star. It's somebody I interviewed, and, and, and she, she lived around Jerry's Deli, actually, in West Hollywood, which is now <laughs> closed. But uh, she claimed that Al Cowlings told her that he had taken the knife that O.J. Simpson used, and the knife, as she put it, was now sleeping with the fishes, meaning he threw Boy, it in the ocean. Where did you get that term? Uh, he threw it in the ocean, and he has denied ever saying anything like that. But the other thing is, is that there was always this thing that O.J. Simpson, based on the timeline, uh, didn't have a lot of time to clean up when that he somebody, got back to his house on Rockingham. Right. The theory is that somebody had to be at the house and to help him clean up. And to get quickly. rid of the clothes, the bloody clothes. Right, get that rid of all that stuff. And so the, a lot of people think it was Al Cowlings, but he has never in any way intimated that it was him. In fact, he has shunned publicity mostly. Never yeah. Well, and, and also, Harvey, real quick, he also is being played by Malcolm Jamal Warner, and who he thinks is a great actor, except he believes the choice of the people that they have a lot of famous people, Travolta, Cuba Gooding, in this show, and they're going to make a bigger deal out of his character than maybe Al feels that he had in the actual case. Now, a lot of people, and even you, Harvey, think he may know a lot more than he's saying, but according to Al Cowlings, he says that minimal happened. He helped O.J. not kill himself, is what he said, that O.J. Jay, his intent was to kill himself because Nicole was dead and that he helped yeah. him not do that. The I, rest I, is, is all BS. And he's actually, saying, if you show me helping OJ at all, cover up anything, then it's defamation and I want to sue FX. I will tell you one thing, and I haven't really talked about this before. I know somebody, um, and Al Cowlings has an association with this person. And what I am told is that Al Cowlings tells a story that is absolutely shocking. Now, I don't have the details of what it is, but I am told that his story mm. about all of this is shocking. Uh, but I don't think we're going to hear that story because no, uh, Al certain... Cowlings has never talked and it's 20 years later. It sounds like that's exactly the story that he doesn't want to be told on <laughs> yeah, the show. Yeah, they don't want FX to do it. Exactly. <laughs> Interesting, by the way, he kind of gave uh, Malcolm Jamal Warner some props there. He's basically saying, if they'd got some nobody, exactly. uh, then I wouldn't be worried. But because right. it's a high-profile person, they're probably going to focus on me. And now yeah. he's worried. Yep. It's supposed to be wow. really, really good from what I, I hear. I can't wait. Hi, this is Sonia Harris calling from San Francisco Hayward Bay Area. Hello, and Sonia. I, <laughs> I'd like to comment good, on Harvey. Al Cowling's threatening a lawsuit. Al Cowling's net worth is 250 k I have that amount of equity in my home. I live in the Bay Area, and I've never touched a football. He's better off getting together with Cato Caitlin and doing a reality show than a lawsuit against FX, fear of ruining his image. Hmm. Well, it's true. I mean, she actually does make a good point that if uh, he files that lawsuit and opens the door, then the first thing they do is they depose Al Cowlings and ask him a million questions about the murder, and it puts him yeah, in a very precarious position. Yeah, he does not position. want to do that. No.